you know that when you're going on a ski trip with Dav, you're gonna get after it. Not too many people get to ski this far north ever. There just aren't that many places left where you can go explore like this. How often do you get to go on a ski trip and you get to bring your sailing gear? Where we're going, we're getting the golden hour for eight hours. It's gonna be amazing as a photographer. I've had a chance to travel all over the world. I've been on all seven continents and skied on six of them. But this was a part of the map that I had never visited. This is as far north as I've ever been. It's actually kind of as far north as you can go and ski. I'm a huge fan of sailing. I, I love being on the water. The boat is an amazing tool to access remote mountains you can go to places that you can't get to any other way. Just the thought of going north Arctic Circle to ski in 24 hours of daylight was uh, really appealing to me. I always feel like the sense of anticipation with trips starting with this one is especially so because we're on a boat and uh, boats and skiing go really well together. Yeah! Woo! We're off. <laughs> so I'm wondering uh, at what point when we get out into this open ocean, we're going to get whacked by the swell. Yeah, basically so, the two open ocean parts. When we round the corner here into the open ocean, we got this southwesterly swell coming up. This is where we don't have protection and where we'll just kind of have to hunker down and... Take it. Take it. Stein told us that there was going to be some rough seas ahead. Within 20 minutes, we're in pretty rough water. It was crazy how many people were starting getting sick and feeling ill and nauseous. Everyone doesn't feel very good. <laughs> and a lot of people are much more sick than others. something where there's like maybe two side by side where we can split up and go like you know sure. three, three and three or something. Yep. I think you just need one axe and your crampons and fun. light, pretty much light gear. You don't need a lot no of gear. Skin. No skins. Getting to go from the Zodiac right into these cool stars was something that was really unique to me and I was really excited about it. Literally off the Zodiac onto the Kular wall and it was sustained 40 degrees all the way to the summit. In every direction, you just see water, mountains, birds flying everywhere. It's just surreal. Look at this place. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Have fun, Paco. Yeah, hi, man. Drop 
happening? It's 10 o'clock at night and it's so awesome. And the snow is really good. And we just are super lucky. Looking down on top of them like this is a really unique perspective. This is gorgeous. I love to do ski mountaineering. Having that skill set enables me to get to a lot of places. Even if I wasn't a photographer, that's what I'd be doing for fun. That was super fun. So oh. fun. Let's go up the fjord here have a look at the side valleys and decide which one we think looks like best opportunity for the highest multiple lines. It'd be sick to be dropping in at about one o'clock in the morning. For me, it's the journey. I mean, you're cruising around on a boat in the Arctic. The skies cleared. We had absolutely crystal clear, beautiful weather. Nice job. There you go. So fun up there. Top 10, top three. I don't know. <laughs> this is so awesome.